Hey guys, we got another review for you today, so let's not waste any time. Let's take a look at the Scale Trains Kit Classics caboose right now. Alright guys, we're uh, here taking a look at the uh, all new Scale Trains Kit Classics uh, steel cupola caboose. Uh, we got two versions right here. We got this one in Burlington Northern Colors and we have a Missouri Pacific one which I assembled uh, yesterday. So um, this car is done. Uh, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Uh, let's kind of go ahead and take a look and, at the kit and see what it all consists of. So I'm going to move some stuff over just a little bit. So let's go ahead and uh, well let's go ahead and start with the box first. Of course as usual with all Scale Trains products they uh, come with in a nice uh, sturdy cardboard box should protect them all very nicely in storage and transport now the cool thing about these kit classics cars is uh, the way the packaging is designed uh, once the car is assembled you can still use this same package to uh, to put the finished model in uh, the way it's set up uh, when the model is done it'll rest nice and snug inside uh, this uh, cavity right here where you see the body at. So and I'll show you that when we take a look at the uh, the finished model here. So um, let's go ahead and take the box on. We'll just kind of go through real quick and show you guys what uh, this all consists of. And by the way, this car here, uh, don't worry about that just yet. That's for a separate video uh, that I still need to film yet. So um, we'll uh, we'll worry about that later if I want. We just go ahead and set it off to the side here. So, and uh, you also might can hear some train horns outside. That's because uh, I'm on location. I'm in uh, Sioux City, Iowa as a bar out driver. And uh, I have a nice view of the tracks out there. So you'll see some, uh, some rail fan videos taken outside my window here. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. So but anyway, uh, we digress. Let's go ahead and get into the look of this caboose here or the kit as it is and uh, we'll take this cover off right here so what you'll have here you'll have your body and uh you'll have to forgive me i don't have my normal tripod so i'm using my uh using a smaller one here so uh, if my camera work is uh, less than desirable that's probably why but uh anyway uh, here's the body right here uh very nice crisp uh, paint right here even though this is a budget line kit easy to assemble kit um, we'll just go ahead and kind of take the uh, the body out here and let you guys get a quick look at it so there's that so yeah it looks real nice of course the, the cupola sits right here on top uh, oh check it out the uh, the locals going by right out there with a pair of SD40 uh, twos on the point. So yeah, there's a little rail fan action going on right there. So yeah, that's the local right there. Um, more than likely, I'll probably have to assist him again tonight. So uh, so anyway, there's you a little bit of rail fan action. But anyway, uh, just quickly go through this. Uh, body looks very nice uh, paint looks really really good uh, you got your BM logo uh, the cascade green looks nice the silver on the roof the yellow ends right here looks good we will put that back or actually I'll just set it off to the side and rebox it up after I get done with the video so uh, we'll go here this little other uh, cavity right here here's your cupola that I just mentioned uh, it just snaps into place uh, when you get done. Uh, when you assemble the body, I mean. So, it'll uh, just kind of show you real quick. It'll just kind of sit down there like that and just kind of press fit in. So, and I'll assemble this. I may do a live stream and assemble this car uh, where you guys can kind of get a feel of how it's done. So, uh, of course, you got your floor right here with the steel weights. And, of course, what's really nice about these, the steel weights are screwed in which is really, really nice. <clears throat> so, of course, you got your yellow platforms right here on each end. The, body, uh, the weights 
got your little screw holes right there and there are screws in the little baggie included that uh, we'll look at so um yeah really nice of course uh no uh, real separately to apply details right here everything's pretty much molded in place pretty much what you expect out of a out of a uh budget line kit uh, you wouldn't want a highly detailed uh kit if um you know if you're getting these for uh, younger modelers or inexperienced modeler modelers uh less risk of breaking stuff off uh, i'm kind of a less is more guy anyway so uh yeah any ch any chance to reduce uh, damaging a model is always okay by me uh i'm not real particular the de uh, details um now you, uh, in this bag this is the uh, window glazing that goes inside both the uh, body of the caboose as well as the cupola. So uh, you will need some uh, canopy glue. That is what it calls for to uh, install these. Again, when we install the, the uh, or when we uh, build this caboose, uh, probably in a day or two, uh, we'll kind of go through that and I'll show you how it's all done. So. Um, now, uh, one thing I did neglect to mention, I'll grab this out right quick. Uh, these uh, screw holes for the trucks, you may need to uh, get a number 72 drill bit right here, which is what I got right here, as well as a pin vise to kind of ream these holes out just a little bit, We're, and, uh, and also a tab. I have the tab in the other caboose so uh, yeah you may not hurt to have that on hand in case you have to ream these uh these truck holes out a little bit so uh that seems to be the only ones that needs it i had no trouble installing the couplers or anything else so uh, yeah just kind of fyi there it's probably good to uh to have that on hand so anyway here's your details right here you got your ladders your end railings uh, brake wheels are all in there as well um, everything pretty much just press fits into place. Um, shouldn't really need much in the way of glue. It may not hurt to put um, a little dab of CA or uh, canopy glue on there to kind of hold them all in place. But uh, uh, for the most part, everything just press fit in there, and it was it was nice and tight on the other caboose, so everything looked good. Um, right here are the trucks for the caboose. Uh, you got your machined 33 inch wheels, uh, friction bearing trucks, very nice. And, and this, this caboose is extremely free rolling. Um, <clears throat> this, this thing will take off and start rolling pretty easy. So, uh, uh if you want something with little to no, uh, rolling resistance, uh, these cars, these cars in particular, these trucks, uh, they do it very, very well. Uh, and then, of course, right here, you have your uh, washers. Now, these little gray washers right here are for the weights um, on the, uh, that you put on the uh, plat on the frame here. Uh, and your screws obviously screw down through the holes there. So um, that's what those are for. You got your uh, scale trains. Now, these are uh, operator couplers. These are plastic couplers right here. Um, they will accept KDs. So uh, if you... If you're a big KD user, you can use them. Uh, here's your coupler boxes or coupler cover, coupler box covers that goes on the bottom here. You got your little springs for the couplers as well all in here. So, yeah, very very nice. Uh, like I said, pretty straightforward kit, pretty easy to assemble. Um, now I'll move all this out of the way and I'll show you what the finished model looks like with the uh, Missouri Pacific version. Here, I'll grab that, and uh, as you can see, when you're done building your caboose, uh, the model fits very nicely inside the uh, cavity right here. So yeah, very very nice, and uh, you can probably see my uh, tap ring around in there. That's what I mentioned earlier. It uh, may be a good idea to have on hand just in case. But just so you guys kind of get a feel of what the finished model looks like. There it is. Right there. And I will set 
this off to the side, set that on there where you guys can get a good look at it. So, yeah, there it is. Very, very nice looking caboose. Very solid caboose. Like I said, rolls very nicely. Um, looks really, really good. So if you want a cheap, uh, a cheaper alternative, have a nice caboose to go on the uh, rear of your train. Uh, these and uh, something that's just kind of fun to build overall. Um, these uh, these scale trains kick classics cabooses maybe the way to go right here. So uh, yeah, so that'll take a look at this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, all. Bye for now.